Championship in Rainbow Six Siege. Evil Geniuses against Penta Sports. The match we all wanted to see. Good luck to both teams. NA against EU to be the best in the world. The Jaeger of Goga sitting just by the bar. Negrox inside a tunnel, sees the lesion, misses it. Fabian gets the first kill. I wouldn't be too surprised to see Penta start going for the frags, and they will. Shate eliminates Young. Fabian still inside of blue. He's entrenched at the moment, sees his head. Would be a bad start to get Flawless against them. Goga takes out BC, and Flawless it will be. Penta already a strong start on defense. Montine is a slightly different operator than you can see of it. But Necrox, wow, Pengu drops his shield, and Necrox playing inside a dirt tunnel. Leads things off for EG. We'll see something go towards potentially blue or even side of Kitchen Hatch. So Fabian sees Necrox, the smoke uncontested, and Fabian off the board. We saw that BC was playing there behind one of the armories. Young takes out Shate. It's going to leave just the glass as well as the Hibana, who sees the Mira. A great shot by Jonas. Takes Young's head off. Attackers have looked. Goga pushing into the side. Going to get taken down by BC, who goes for the double and gets it. Eunice eliminated. It differs from typical and traditional smoke grenades. NVK, what a shot! Jonas off the board! The bandit tries to peek, and it only takes one as now BC goes on to Goga. And in 40 seconds, Penta already down by two. It's really just choose whichever you're more comfortable with. NVK gets a second. Shate eliminated now. Pengu going to be throwing out the gas canisters towards pool table. Pushing aggressively, trying to even things out. Not going to get BC, it will in fact be the other way around, and now Fabian, the last defender, has to deal with an attacker coming from above. Here's the drop from the buck, cannot hit the shot, the shotgun from Canadian! So clearly Amante push on to B. Buck, just by construction doorway, Necrox is going to get aggressive on him, hit by the lifeline, will down Goga and secure the kill. Young, who was so hot in the quarterfinals, cooled off yesterday, but Jonas just by the main door, he'll be head BC, the Valkyrie down. Attackers Good mobility from him in order to get out in time. But behind the Monte, there is a plant going down. Necrox tries to come out, but a good read. Canadian and double will stop the plant in its tracks. Shate eliminating Necrox as he tried to push out. And your diffuser is once again down. But NVK looking the wrong way, not expecting Shate to be there. Two to two, Canadian takes out Shate. It's the glass of Jonas, who's only on one shot. Goes prone, a 4K from Canadian. Is showing to Young, the Blackbeard, who shoots. Jonas takes down Canadian. That is the Hibana. Now Pengu eliminating Necrox. A smart idea to reset him. BC down. Young gets the first kill for EG. But Pento right now in commanding position. As they'll need to get the Thermite back up. Neither member of Evil Genius in position to strike. BC finished off from below. The Blackbeard, no chance. Fabian eliminates him. NVK sees Fabian, lights him up, can't secure. They'll fight for the trade. They get it. And Penta holds on to win the round. Now the smokes come down, and Young very smartly retreats inside a dirt tunnel. Two Candelas go down, a third now as well, and a swift coordinated push. Necrox eliminates Fabian, but Shate refrags, Canadian down. But the Ying completely eliminated. It's going to be a gunfight. As Young takes out Pengu, the glass pushes in, but too close range, NBK, BC, EG a flurry, and they'll go to match point. There are in fact two people waiting for his rotation out. BC as well inside of the garage with Canadian to boot. Here comes the rotate. Chate goes down and NVK in fact the third. The Capital of Young, he will have an advantage in terms of range due to that ACOG. NVK second kill will get the Echo. That's his drone down and now Young will put pressure on side of stock. Jonas sees the Ash. Pengu and Jonas adding to it, and they'll even it out. This is still anybody's game. And now Goga under fire as the Thermite punishing him. He manages to down him, pulls out. There will be a second, but Canadian, they are one away. EG looking to take map number one, and they are in good position. Pengu gets droned out, but BC just sees him at the last minute. He'll go inside a bar and wait. He knows that there's one inside a garage. No heads up play by Young as he looks in, looking the wrong way. He can absolutely clutch around for his team, but not today. EG says, no, thank you. Map one goes to them by a score of five to two, and the crowd very happy about that result. And Canadian in the basement knows Jonas is there.
Instead of pressuring him, he's just going to wait. Yesterday, a bit of impatience from Canadian led to him being taken down early. The leadoff kill goes to him, though, as a good distraction, a peek from NVK. Nice kill there from Necrox, eliminating Fabian. And now it's a three on five. As Gogo pushes his way into Generator, he's going to contest this smoke on the top of White Stairs. Runs out of ammo, pulls out the nade, allowing a down from Young. But it's not enough. It's Tengu refrags and Goga finishes off that smoke. C4 from below! And NVK with the follow-up, BC with the finisher! And Evil Geniuses will take the first round! Canadian will now invest on that second floor where he sees a castle plan. Very interesting castle set up there from Penta. Canadian gets Eunice, can he get a second? No, Goga shuts him down and goes for the rotation. Necrox on the bottom of the stairs as you hear Capitao doing his job to be able to close them off. Fabian fires the common spots. Young Spyrero takes out Gogo. What is he doing? And they're going to go for the plant. Necrox amidst the smoke, completely covered right now. And it's going to be Young trying to keep them alive. Seven seconds. Can he get the plant? He does. And you now see Fabian getting lit up himself. Pengu so far off site. Doesn't have the speed advantage to him. What a shot as NBK and Young go down. And now an advantage for Penta as they were staring down the barrel of defeat. Fabian with the rotate hole opened up an attic. BC eliminates Shate, and they're going to wait. That's a double from the buck. It's all up to Fabian. Elysian, who you had seen trying to get back to fight. Miles away. 2 nothing. EG. Penta inconceivably struggling against evil geniuses. A C4 from Canadian all the way downstairs in the site. Well placed. And there aren't very many anchors, interestingly, from Evil Geniuses. They're putting a lot of pre presence into the meeting hall. And as Canadian pushes up aggressively, that's just giving away kills, as Pengu is not the sort of person to get caught off guard in that circumstance. But the push from Fabian using his Candelas wisely eliminates MVK and BC, who gets taken down by Shate. Necrox refracts onto Goga. There's still life as Necrox gets two over to the supply room, the north side of the building. The shotgun push from Young, this is the blast, and Fabian gets his second. Fabian, all the way in the site, sees oh, Necrox, goes for a spray, misses the shots, and Necrox will get the down. One HP now for the castle, and as Chate is planting the diffuser, he's not gonna be aware, that will prompt him. Chate expecting the push, wins the fight, and Penta win their first round. Fabian, as well as Shate, a very aggressive push inside. No smoke grenades to stop them. And the smoke of Pengu manages to hit the shield of Young, who takes him down before Jonas refrags. And that's a draw, but look at Penta. They own that kill feed now. Two for Jonas and Fabian adding to BC. It's all up to Necrox and MVK, but Necrox, who's having a wonderful day, takes out one before getting eliminated. Jonas, three kills for himself. Fabian answers that. And Penta repels a strong push from EG. Spots him as he shoots out his drone just inside of Kitchen. But the telltale sign of the Scorpion as Canadian what? moves, and Fabian changing weapons will miss him. The Pulse has a heartbeat sensor. Fabian lights him up, downs him. A good pinch from Jonas. They'll finish off Canadian, but there is still NVK inside of Kitchen. BC eliminates Fabian, and now you can see a double for BC. NVK gets in on the action. And there's only two left. Young eliminating Shate. Pengu out to lunch. He will have a lot of work ahead of him. Now Pengu coming around, not gonna check the single for BC and will die as a result, evil geniuses. He'll use one smoke and that'll cut the Ella off and he will go for just a pure engagement but not expecting the mine. What a good read from Jonas to take down Young. That was a big gamble, it won't pay off but NVK inexplicably right behind him as Canadian will now cut up and try to take down the castle. They'll light in and a great clear from EG as they are an advantage of one right now. Penta at least in a position to stop this push. And they will begin with Pengu eliminating BC. EG in a tough spot as they will need to funnel in through points that Penta is expecting. Only 15 seconds. They have lots of denial available to them. They do not bother to get Canadian up. They will just simply dive down themselves. NVK can't connect. It's gonna be all on Canadian, who uses withstand to give one help for Zofia, but Penta wins a round that they may not have deserved. Fabian gets Necrox using the opening of the mirror window. Great job from him to open it up earlier, allowing that kill to happen. Second one for Penta, or third total. Canadian going up the stairs, pre-fires from Penta, and Pengu will get that kill. Young getting one on the flank though. He still has a lot of time to delay, but he's a great operator to do so. He's gonna have to deal with the post plant now. A push from Pengu, ill-advised. Young only needs to find three more, and 
Because of that, Penta will get much more conservative. He's got to do it in the next couple seconds. It doesn't look likely as Young gets fully blind and Fabian from behind hearing that call from his teammate. Fabian still has plenty of goo mines. He's just going to have to wait for them to regenerate. Falling back, in fact, to the main lobby, which NVK is going to catch two off guard, but only get one. No, he can't get the second. Fabian with the refrag, though he is on very low HP. Torn apart as he tries to retake Kitchen in case the attackers decide to rush. Brazely, we've seen that a couple times, and it has overwhelmed the defense. BC, who's having a heck of a round, he'll take out Shate. Barbed wire behind him will be destroyed. That would have been an audio cue that somebody was coming, and they trade. BC eliminated, though. What a round from the Buck to carry his team. Some shots will rattle through the big window as he sits just underneath. He'll go out for a kill under the Capitao. He'll be rewarded, but they know his position, and almost a crossfire established just as you wait for Necrox to get into sight. Instead, Pengu will push up. It's Canadian who's trying to get a cover. Necrox gets off the defuse, and overtime awaits us for Oregon. Just gonna fall back to main lobby, but surely Penta will expect said rotation. In fact, no, there's no one watching the main lobby as NVK goes for run out and will get the kill. What a job there from NVK seeing the hole and seizing it a second from behind. Chate goes down. Gonna get a third. Gets lit up inside Armory. Elsewhere, lots of frags going down for both teams. The Diffuser is in the hands of Penku, though, repelling on the B windows. Here comes the push from the Capital, and BC's not expecting it. The main hallway uncovered. Necrox will refrag it, leaving Penku now in a one-on-two, but he's inside of B. Necrox gets the kill, and evil geniuses go up five to four. What a hold there from EG. Area towards the bomb site denied. Shate just misses that frag grenade and uses his last toxic babe. Necrox breathing it in will try to get out of there in time, but cannot. He gets felled on the stairs, but not finished off. Young just waiting to see, but Jonas, his second kill. That's Young down as he had pushed in. Plant going off will give away the position. They're gonna hope that NVK can cover. He'll get one, NVK manages to stick it, and BC gets Diffuser down as BC takes out Fabian before Pengu eliminates NVK. On the line here is the potential for EG to be able to go to series point. You can hear the mirror coming down, but Penta will win this one. BC falls, Pengu plays that smart, and we will have an 11th round. He'll have to pull back. Only 20 seconds left. Necrox inching up so close. One goes down. Pengu doesn't look, sees the mute. Necrox and Canadian, it's 5-2 for EG. And Necrox still uncontested. EG, one map away from the championship. That team is known formerly as Flipside. They're not currently with an orc, but they are essentially oh, a grenade from Canadian. Not necessarily watching his flank from reading. Eunice gonna take him down because of that. And Young going for the plant right now inside of A. It doesn't look like there's an anchor to stop him. The retake rushing in. Bandit not gonna see him, but will eventually get the kill. Young goes down and BC from behind. No, Eunice with the flank gets MVK. Chate covers the flank of the Bandit and wins the round for Penta. What a round there. Going to try and grenade the mirror window to disable it. BC, conscious of this, will not be playing anywhere near it and will actually get the kill because of his rotation. Pushing into the site, though, Necrox gets a double kill! Pengu looked poised to get that one, but couldn't lock it down. Shate still has plenty of tools available, as well as Jonas. They can probably work their way, but Necrox, after getting picked back up, will get kill number three. He's had such a good day. Jonas though running out of time. 10 seconds and four members of Evil Genius is left. They'll look to equalize. Inside Jonas will go. Necrox, four kills in one round. EG equalizes. Very smartly on two white stairs, expecting a push from Evil Geniuses. Right now it's a standoff as Young takes down Goga. Suppressed MP5 of Shate eliminates Necrox. Fabian and Shate remain. Two operators you want on site, but Fabian downed and finished off. Three kills for Canadian. He'll lead by example. Diffuser, not in his hands. BC comes in, Shate eliminated, and Evil Geniuses takes over the lead. Pushes off of A inside of the hallway. In Red Hall, it's a very dangerous position. BC with the C4 from below. Great job, that's Shate the Buck eliminated. As Eunice takes down NVK, it's nice and even between these teams. 
Young goes down as well. Goga on the top of the red stairs. Penta's looking pretty strong as Pengu gets another. Necrox eliminated and it's all down to Canadian and BC. Who's gonna miss a lot of shots now? Just Troy. C4 will miss, and that's one of his levers of control gone. He's amidst the smoke, he sees the Ying run down, he'll take Fabian, but on the stairs, there's one more member of Penta waiting for him. Jonas gonna move up to the actual diffuser itself. Goga manages to take Canadian down, there was no way he was getting back to the site. As MPK dropped in the skylight, Chate gets the second for Penta, BC goes down. Evil Genius is now in a bad spot, three to five. Wow, what a shot there from Chate, seeing the head of Young. He has enough time to justify this, but he's going to have to face a mirror window, which will likely result in his death. It will. Pengu, a pre-play C4 on that wall, gets the kill. He's going to have to ace in 15 seconds. It doesn't seem likely. Sees the defender on top of the wheel, and he's not going to win that fight. Pengu. They're just sitting and waiting at the windows, but Chate able to eliminate Necrox with a grenade. That's going to give Penta an advantage. But it's a Montaigne, and he's got a pretty good arc to hold. Fabian eliminates MVK. That's the White Stairs pressure gone now for the defense. And here comes the push. Mirror window disabled, and the last defender is Young. Inside a freezer, he goes down. Penta put it on a match point. Eunice, who is the bandit inside of Piano. Teammate droning him in, and it's going to be pressure from behind now for Eunice as the panel gets opened up. He can't hit his shots, but from behind, Canadian hitting his, and Necrox will get the kill. Evil Genius's control over Piano and man advantage. Sees the Echo, but with the hammer out, it's not gonna matter. He's actually gonna die too. Chate Young with the double to respond. It's all down to Chate though with one HP. He gets the headshot on a BC, but Young a 3K. And Evil Geniuses put it on to 4-3. Necrox, the smoke had fallen early to a frag grenade. Last attack for Penta. Canadian a run out, he'll take Chate down, hoping that his team can push this to overtime. Canadian responded by rotating all the way downstairs, expecting it. Yuna's gonna take out Necrox. Pengu has control over bathroom. Goga gets BC. And that was a very good play there. Necrox distracted Fabian, taking NVK. The second time around, this Monty push that we see from Penta is absolutely crushing EG now. Canadian once again in a situation where he will need to clutch. It's a 1v4, taken down to next to no health. He'll take Goga, but he now has a shield in his way. Very difficult, with only one. To be able to eliminate Amante, but Penta takes their first map. We're gonna go. Bang. Both of these concussive blasts will hit one another. Fabian takes out MVK before Young has his back. That's the captain of Penta down. Jonas comes down, and both Necrox and he will be totally caught out. Young loses his health before Necrox is there to get his team, but Goga taking out Canadian. It is back and forth. Pengu, what a shot. We'll leave just the smoke of Necrox. He is Diffuser on stairs, though. Here's the Habana pushing, sees him now. Will get the headshot. Pengu goes down, 12 seconds left. Necrox pushes upstairs, gives up the Diffuser, but he could potentially stop it from above. Gonna be fighting with Goga. Rather, that's Chate, who wins the fight. The final 30. BC punishes Jonas is the Vigil who's playing offsite earlier on. The smokes go down and Young will drop, but Goga there ready to catch him. He sprints away towards White Stairs. Away from EG able to get in. Canadian trades off Pengu, and they now have control of CCTV. They can go for a successful plan. BC will use his life as NVK takes Fabian down. Goga finishes off what little was BC. Canadian though a big round, leaving just Chate. That Echo Drone still very much in play. Diffuser picked up, but he's running out of time. He will have to do it manually as the Yokai drone shot. Shate knows Diffuser going down. EG just waiting. NVK gets a kill for his team. They've opened up a hole in the wall here, and this hole is going to allow some of the attackers to play the angle. Necrox goes down quite swiftly as Fabian gets him peeking wide in the sight. Pengu lost some health there, almost able to stop it before those Xkaros go off, though Goga now charging into the site. Young is felled. But two Canadian, where does he come from? Goodbye Goga, goodbye Jonas, another C4 goes off. Canadian, right now holding the round together for his team. Attack We'll have to outduel two of the best operators on attack. You can hear Canadian working away at the wall. NVK takes one down, that's all up to Pengu who takes out NVK, it's 1v1. Canadian has four kills. Diffuser going off. Canadian will need an ace in order to stick this through. Off of the plan he goes, he'll just waste time! And Evil Genius just has the lead! Likely get on his yokai and try to stop him. 
Dixie, the pulse pressure's up. BC waiting. Young manages to get the defuse slightly down before the Yokai knocks him out of it. And now Canadian is going to have to help his team. He sees the head of Mira, cannot connect, but Necrox eliminating Jonas. EG just running out of time. Now Goga steps up, he'll down one. EG was in good position, but just not fast enough. Penta holds steady, and they will tie it up at two each. As Necrox now looks to roam, Canadian takes out Pengu, who doesn't need a shield. Amonti confronts NVK before BC picked off by the sprinting ash of Shate. NVK Ooh. goes for it, but very smartly Penta situated. Necrox on the flank, takes out Shate, and now sprints in, looking to see if there was anybody inside of escape tunnel. The Monty will push Young, and oh my, what a duel for the ages, but you cannot pressure a shield, Fabi, and a bulldozer inside of sight. Take Young out of action, and now they will go for the plan on the desk of CEO office. Canadian, though, creeps up. He manages to get him, knows there's a shield incoming. And he will get out of there. Sees the Thermite, can't win that one. Neck rocks up from the main lobby stairs. Will down at least Goga. Now the last attacker is a shield. That's Fabian going to need to try something brave here as he possibly goes for a plant. Baiting it out, goes for the ADS. Necrox can't hit his shot, and Fabian wins it! How does that happen? Inside of Executive Lounge, he will get droned. Fabian, though, managing to somehow eliminate Young before BC gets Jonas as he vaults. That was BC playing on the window just by Plaza. He'll now rappel down. This is going to be tough for Evil Geniuses. They don't have a ton of utilities left. A great shot from Goga. Oh my, his Canadian falls. You see Pengu trying to peek around that corner. But BC from above takes out Goga. That will allow Necrox to have a lesser challenge getting inside. Shate takes out BC. He goes for a second. What a shootout from the Legion. EG left with NVK. He hasn't had a good game so far. It won't get any better. No Yokai yet left as Fabian gets NVK. C4 is not going to do anything. Montaigne still has plenty of HP. Here comes the push and the plant from Goga. The second C4, though, will take down Goga, the Spaniard. Now it's an even match here with only 45 seconds. Chate still on that flank watch. We'll get Necrox, who's made that very same flank many times before. Heartbeat detector still in hands of Troy, but a team kill! BC eliminating Canadian the Pulse. And now he will not be able to make the push as the defuse plant comes down. It's two versus four. Yunus from deep inside of the server stairs will get BC. Young responds onto Pengu. There's only one defender left to deny this, and it's not going to happen. Penta win. Bank. Put it onto the final map of this best of five. Five maps between these two teams in our grand finals. Could you have it any other way? Because the team's fortunes will likely rise alongside his individual contributions. CBC from below will start things off with a bang. He takes out Pengu very early on. When attacking this site, one of the most important parts for Evil Geniuses is to put Young on the big window inside of Bedroom. The Daka Shate down. Up, then back down. NVK gets a kill for his team. Going for that retake strategy, which has worked for them a little bit in the past. Eunice going to be rotating back in. Canadian will take him down. Goga from the main hallway loses that fight. BC absolutely on fire. And the last defender is Fabian in the main lobby. 30 seconds now. Fabian going to be having to retake up these stairs. A very difficult push. And he will be caught out in the middle of it. BC wins the round for his team of 3K. Fabian, who's going to rotate now to try and find the vigil who was last in that series. Pengu takes out BC. What a shot there. Tiny angle for him to finagle. The Roamers not going to be overly effective. As Canadian attempt to come from the main hallway, Shate's going to take out the other anchor. That's Young. Canadian from behind hasn't been spotted out. The glass is peaking. Wins the fight. Eunice on fire. Necrox, the last defender alive. He does have the boss G, which is an interesting weapon. Could swing in his favor if he's on, if he's hitting shots right now. It's one, a single bullet to take Chate down. Here's the other on the mirror window. That was Fabian. He lost his opportunity. A second for Necrox as he drops into the main lobby. Looking for this fight. Sees the Claymore. Can't move all the way in. It gets a third, though. Gogo -Go goes down. And can he get two more? No, sir. Pengu inside a projector locks that out. I believe that's called the Lamborghini doorway. The Lamborghini doorway not aiding NVK. A peek from the sledge of Canadian will see no result other than one HP on Chate as he outmaneuvers and outperforms his opponent. From that kitchen, oh, what a shot from Young. Goga, who was brought back to life, 
fixes Necrox. Bonnet down, leaving three for EG. Yunus, despite being disoriented, a remarkable kill onto NVK, leaving young NBC. And what a swift finish as Penta takes their very first lead of our final map. Meanwhile, Pengu going to get downed inside of Hookah. Oof. Sees the yellow. Doesn't hit the one tap. That was actually Fabian, another Penta member who gets the kill. Shate will get a nade on a Necrox as well, and now Penta in commanding lead of this round. Can they get the third? They certainly can. Shate from Projector. VCC4, as you can see, only really got the circular couch inside of VIP. He'll get taken down by Pengu, who is back from the dead. Young will have to hold off against a Tide. He get hit with a Twitch drone, his position given away. Twitch drone could have potentially taken out the Mira. A flawless round from Penta as Pengu eliminates Young. It's a strong start. Shate is proving to be a very worthy adversary. A couple of his bullets rattle in, but NBK starts the round off by taking Gogan. It's taken over 90 seconds, but Canadian now pounces on Shate, and there's three left for Penta. This final 30 seconds. Another who goes down. Young takes out Jonas and on stairs. Fabian, though, just off site, takes out Canadian as he's able to get back in. The smoke goes down, and you can see Young falls too. All of EG is very low. Here, the timer itself. Pengu still under pressure, will be shot at from two angles in just a moment. Pengu, what a shot on the NVK! He gets two! Now an advantage for EG goes away. Necrox just needs to find Fabian, who will hold on. Necrox, no diffuser, Penta match point! What a round from them! Finally, they are gone. And from behind, NVK takes down Eunice. A great impact there to establish a flank. Goga will respond, though. NVK bites the dust. Now a four on four. Chate's gonna get a kill onto Canadian. Final 45, though. Necrox trades off Fabian. Still 3v3. Goga will go up to fetch that diffuser. They are only seconds away from potentially being crowned. Winners, but a big C4 from Gogo will blow this wide open. Shate goes up on top of the bed, breathes in some toxic gas, and will now go for a plant himself. How effectively is Pengu going to be able to cover that fire? He gets BC. Can Pengu keep going? He's looked so good. Pengu, but Necrox takes him down. What a clutch! And EG stays alive! They'll get the diffuser. Penta not taking this just yet. And look at the drone work from BC. He sees two, one in courtyard, one sitting just inside of main entrance. Meant to have full control here. BC looking for the one tap, he gets it! Eunice goes down and BC... Flashes go in, not expecting Shate to have moved. NVK will need to win this fight or his team will find themselves, and he does! A good shot through security as Shate falls off the board. And Fabian still has not been found out. Instead of being on the first floor, he's up in billiards. He could potentially get a wonderful flank off. Goga goes for a free fire. Young loses shield, Canadian, a volley. Almost a flawless round, it's all Fabian. He's inside of theater, but he's gonna have a lot of bodies to fight through. He sees BC, a flawless round, EG two in a row. They'll go back to defense. Could we have overtime? This is a perfect site to roll a Montane out on as well, as they can just simply go in through an open doorway. They don't have to really worry about a window. Canadian, a spot peak, really? The glass goes down. That'll open things up, and EG taking gambles that pay off. Fabian holding down any rotation through Courtyard, but BC takes out Goga, and EG finds himself quite comfortable. Fabian dives in, but they stop him. What a trade! There's only one left! Shate, can we see overtime? He's barbed wire in there. That will let EG know. But you can see, there's only one inside. It's the Mira of BC. Can he return fire across fire in overtime? Why not? If Necrox vaults in, be certainly to his doom. Canadian, though, comes out of nowhere. That's the captain. They work together. Great communication. Goga dislodged, but Pengu, as the vigil just nearby, will eliminate BC. NBK and Canadian a rally. Two away, but Pengu comes in. He takes Necrox down before retreating himself. There's the Blackbeard on the window, and now Fabian on the flank. Two each. Canadian has a tiny portion of health. He holds that diffuser. Pengu down. Fabian all alone in theater. He sticks the diffuser. Waits for the audio kit. Young will need to cover. There is a C4 from Fabian. He primes it. Canadian falls off. He goes down. Young will need to get in. He has only 10 seconds, and he enters. They will be in a standoff. Can he get the Valkyrie? Two seconds. Young pushes up, running out of time. Neither get it. Penta, hold on. Oh, my. Match point. 
Fabian is on flank watch from above. You can expend one down, but wow, NBK eliminates Jonas, and that smoke, you cannot see through it. Amidst the smoke, you can see the plant going down. Fabian gets Necrox, who goes on the flank. Shate uncontested, Diffuser goes down. Now EG will need to retake the site. But Young trading off Goga, Fabian takes NBK down. BC, it's 2-2. Two -two. It's Pengu and Fabian left. Two of the best known players on that team. Our captain sufficient, Fragger, Fabian down. It's Pengu, Defense the Ash, just the waiting. Diffuser. Or rather, the Hibana, just waiting. They'll look to push together. The Diffuser in a position where they'll have to see when the Hibana goes through. One will cover the doorway as they start to defuse. Pengu goes for one on the Young. Can he go the second? They're on the note as the best team in the world, never having that distinction until today. Penta are your world champions. The second invitation. I think you can say unequivocally the most dominant team that we have ever seen. I mean, you can't even question it now that they've won. confident player we've seen you be like we're gonna 2 nil these guys we're gonna 2 nil these guys but seeing you now that was a fight for you and it turned out that you are the best in the world it feels good it's time for us I think yeah. we built this team to do this and here we are it's been a season where you know you've it's been a year where you've had incredible matches you've won three out of the six pro league seasons we've ever had it's just that sledge and the title with it wasn't yours last year you came here wanting it and you can see so clearly in all of your faces how much it means to you i actually don't know what to say because i'm kind of filled with adrenaline and you get a charm as well i know that's what you're here for Shaz, a quick word with you. We've barely spoken to you this whole tournament. You're the coach here. What do you have to say about your guys? I'm just so proud of my, my boys. We made this a year ago with the ambition, literally at Invitationals, to come here a year later and win it, and we've done it. Just... You have. Penta Sports are the world champions of Rainbow Six Siege.